Hey guys, Professor Ackerman here. I want to make this quick video to show you how you can use this voice playback module. It can play back MP3 and .wav audio files, so that could be any song or sound that you want to trigger with this device. It has onboard memory, so you can upload the files directly onto the board. Uh, and this brand of this MP3 playback module is from Peminol. Um, the documentation on this is not incredibly good on the website, so what I want to do is show you uh, how to piece together a basic way to get this functioning so you can play back different uh, songs or sounds. So taking a look at this board over here, we've got the micro USB cord to download the audio file so you can customize any song, a wave or .mp3 file. We've got the Arduino plus five volts and ground connection to power the device. And then these switches, uh, switch zero through seven, so eight total digital inputs here. We we can see that they're all connected to ground over here. And so these are essentially switches looking to be pulled low by the Arduino or the digital right low. And when they're pulled high, they'll turn off and won't play. But when they're pulled low, they'll play the corresponding sound that corresponds to the input from zero to seven. So that's pretty much how it works. Now this dip switch over here, this little red array of three switches called a dip switch. Uh, this is important to set up the functionality correctly. So let's take a look at this. And then this 3.5 millimeter audio jack is what we're going to use to connect to our Bluetooth speakers so we can play uh, the song or sound any volume. Okay, so walks through, through a little bit of details here. There's different ways to use it. You can use serial communication and do some other more advanced things, but we're just going to do the simplest way to get this thing started. Scroll down here and we see this diagram. So this talks about what the dip switches uh, mean and what they do. So we've got uh, a couple, three different switches here. What we want to do, we don't need these first two. That would be playing 255 songs, which you probably run out of memory before you get that many songs. And that's just a lot. Um, so we'll just keep it simple. We'll look at the IO independent mode zero or one. So looking at IO independent mode zero, that would have the switch configuration of zero, one, zero. So one would be low, two would be high, and three is low. And that's going to give us the ability to pull any of these digital inputs from zero to seven low to play any given song from one to eight. Okay, so that's what we're going to be using. And let me show you what this looks like so we can get a quick demo, write a little bit of code, and get this thing fully working. All right, so let me turn down the camera down here. All right, cool. So we've got our Peminol MP3 playback module right here. So we've got the dip switches that you can see right here. Let me just zoom out there. So I've got switch one down to low, two is high, and three is low, right? Just that middle switch goes high, and that's in our IO independent mode zero. That means I can pull any of these digital inputs up here low to play the corresponding song. Uh, so let's take a look at this in action. So I've got my Arduino here. I'm gonna use this to provide power for now. It could be running any old code. Uh, I'm just using it right now to give this thing five volts. And this is not a great solution, but just for initial testing, what we can do is actually pin this straight down to the breadboard. So I'm going to give it five volts and ground. So I'm gonna hook those up, all right. And this is not gonna give us the best electrical connection. We're gonna have to solder these wires on to get a better connection, but for now, we can at least see how this thing uh, operates. Okay, so we got power and ground going to these devices. We're gonna hook up the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary audio cable. Make sure my dip switch one is low, two is high, and three is low, looks good. I'm gonna have to lean on these wires a little bit to get a better connection initially. And all I'm gonna do is trigger this manually by connecting this wire to high or low. So you can see how it works, this orange wire. All right, so I gotta hook up to my Bluetooth speaker over here. This is just standard Bluetooth speaker with 3.5 millimeter auxiliary audio jack. Plug that in. And let's see if we can get this triggering. Okay, I can hear it trying to trigger. All right, so it's not getting a very good connection. This is why we probably need to solder these wires on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can hear that. 
Definitely need some soldering here to get a better connection. Let's see if I can get some other sound to play. There we go. So that's the third audio file. This device comes with uh, eight audio files already pre-recorded, so you can test that. So that's looking good. All right, so that's me connecting it straight to low, right? And this bird's chirping there. If I connect it instead to high, nothing will happen, right? But the moment I connect each of these pins to low, it will trigger the corresponding audio file that's uh, held on the device's internal memory. All right, so that's the basics of how this works. So all we need to do really is connect any of these digital pins, these inputs, to digital outputs in our Arduino, which we can write with a digital write high or low and we can control when we want to play the songs through our Bluetooth speaker. So that's the fundamentals of how this works. Uh, what I need to do now is go ahead and solder these wires on here. I'm going to solder two wires on, and I'm also going to then show you how to uh, hook up your own sounds onto this device, and then we're going to write a simple code to trigger it on and off. So let me be right back with the soldering of these wires. All right, so I've got some wire soldered on here, so I have a much better connection. I've got this 22 gauge solid coil wire. Here's the ground. The plus five volts is red. The blue wire here is gonna be my first uh, digital input to the MP3 player, but output from the Arduino. And then yellow will be my second one. You can check what the pins are labeled as on the very bottom of the board. You can check the silk screen in the bottom of the PCB and to see what they are, each are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and connect these, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, go ahead and upload your own song or sound onto the micro USB port right here. So first, let's look at the micro USB. So I'm just going to connect that. I need to use a different port, so you may need to use a different USB port or just one with a short cable. All right, I just heard it recognize, which is good. I'm going to go back to my desktop here. So now let's identify where it is. So if I go to this PC, I should see uh, a USB drive appear right here in drive E. Now it may depend on your computer, but you should see a USB drive pop up. Just show you, I'm going to unplug it. There it goes, disappeared, plug it back in. There it is, all right. So when you open this up, you see that there are the eight songs that were uh, built in, those are put in by the manufacturer, and those are just helpful for testing as we saw earlier. What I'm gonna do is delete these first two, and I'm gonna use the same name format, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2. I'm gonna use those first two, delete them, and then copy over the song and sound I wanna use. Control C, Control V. Now it's a little bit of a slow USB drive, not a lot of memory on there. I'm gonna make sound one, the very first sound I'm gonna play, 0, 0, 1. 0001, and then this one's going to be 002. All right, so we're good to go there. Now what I'm going to do is eject that. And we'll take a look at the wiring here. Same exact wiring as I had before, except I'm going to hook it up to the Arduino. So I'm going to connect power to 5 volts here, the red wire. Uh, black wire is going to go to my ground pin on the Arduino. The blue wire is going to be my first input, the first song or sound I want to create. So that's going to go to, let's say, pin four, just for now. And I'm going to plug in the second one to pin five. All right, so I've got them connected to any digital pin, whichever digital pins you want. I just have the blue wire on pin four and the yellow wire on pin five, but any pin will do. I'm going to make sure I have the connection here for the 3.5 millimeter aux cable. And that's pretty much it. I got power ground and I got the two inputs that are going to be written in my code here. Okay. So what I want to do is just do a quick test code. This is just to test it, see how it works. Int, I'm going to define an integer for the pin. So mp3 one is going to be equal to pin four. Int mp3 two, because I've got two that I can use in this example. It's going to be the pin next to it on pin 5. So those are my two wires connected to pins 4 and 5. I'm going to set both of them as outputs from the Arduino. And 
MP3 underscore one comments and output in all caps. I'm going to control C and control V that and change this to two. So set up both as outputs. Now what I'm going to do initially here, actually right up here in the very beginning of the void setup, I'm going to do digital write. Now I can do it in the void setup or I can actually do it in the void loop here. So I'll just do it in the void loop so it uh, goes continuously. Digital write. I'm going to write MP3 underscore one. So the pin four is going to be written to high. That should keep that pin off because I only want these pins to turn on if I send them low. There we go. So that will turn both of these pins off. Just click comment there. All right. So now for testing, I'm going to turn the uh, pin number four or MP3 underscore one variable. I'm going to turn it low after a short delay. So first I'm going to delay for about 3,000 milliseconds or three seconds. Then I'm going to do a digital write on the first pin. So we can test that. I'm going to set it low. And I'm going to do that for, what that's going to do is turn pin one on. And then I'm going to delay for, I don't know, a short delay. Let's say a thousand milliseconds, just like one second. That can be even shorter if we want to just trigger it. Um, but let's see how that works. So I got both pins, four and five, both the, fir the first two pins off initially because they're set to be high. And then I set pin one to be low. So we'll just play that. Okay, let's give it a shot. All right, so hopefully you can hear that. The computer's trying to talk to us. We literally have our program saying hello world, which is a good start. Okay, so that's working. Now let's try uh, the second pin. So I'm going to uh, turn this one back off. All right, so I'm going to turn it on, then turn it off. And then I'm going to try the second pin, pin number five, which corresponds to the song on the second digital input of the MP3 board. So I'm going to digital write MP3 underscore two comma low. And I'm going to delay for 3000 milliseconds. And then I'm going to turn them both back off. All right, so I should play the first uh, sound on the first pin, and then I should play the second song on the second pin. Let's take a look. All right, let's see how we do. Sorry, I couldn't resist. That's pretty good, right? Hello world, and then Rick Rule. Um, so yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use this MP3 trigger. And uh, really from here, you just need to customize this for your application. So when you set it high, it turns the sound off. When you set it low, it turns the sound on until you set it back to high. That's pretty much how you use it. So hopefully that was helpful and uh, good luck with your projects.